Hi my friends, hi my friends. This is Evangelist Rachel Gayla and today I'm with my mama Florence Jackson. As you see, we are driving, uh, but she has allowed me to shoot this wonderful video. Hallelujah. Uh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time. We thank you for everybody that is viewing us right now. Wherever they are, my God, we ask you to speak to them. We ask you to touch them. We ask you to redeem their lives, to save their lives. Let, Father God, their family members be redeemed in the name of Jesus. Let their children be redeemed in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been holding our children, whatever has been holding our husbands, whatever has been holding our missions, whatever has been holding our finances, in the name of Jesus, as we watch this video, let there be redemption, let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Because we believe that Christ has redeemed us from every curse. We are of God. We are loved by Jesus. Father God, we thank you. You told us that those that call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. Father God, as we live in this world, there is a lot of temptations. There is a lot of things that happen to us. Sicknesses and diseases, Father God. But when we trust our living God, when we believe on one man, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, when we receive the Holy Spirit, He begins to help us. So today, whatever was holding us in the name of Jesus it is letting us loose none of us will remain in captivity our children will not remain in captivity our husbands they will not remain in captivity our nations my God Lord we rebuke the spirit of COVID first of all you told us in the book of Psalm 103 verses 1 to 3 you said in your word that if we repent of our sins you forgive our sins and you heal our diseases my God, COVID has been beyond a disease. But Father God, in the name of Jesus, like a wave, in the name of Jesus, may the power of God blow away this, this curse of, of COVID from our nations, from America, from all over the world, in the name of Jesus. Father God, right now we are receiving news. We are receiving messages from our relatives. Some people don't have food, my God, especially in, in Africa. Father God, we ask you to provide, for it is written, you shall supply our needs according to your riches in glory. Father God, supply our needs in the name of Jesus. Redeem our family members. Redeem them from poverty, oh God. Redeem them from, from lack in the name of Jesus, because you supply our needs according to your riches in glory. Father God, we love you. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Mommy, you're, when we pack, you're going to you're going to greet our our everybody watching us. You're going to greet them. Even in Kikuyu, even in Swahili. Me, I'm also going to greet them in Luganda. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we here? Hi, hi, hi. What 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 I want to ask Krisa? Nime msalimu yote katika jina la Bwana. Amen. Niko hapa na Evangelist Recho. Mm. And uh, tuna furaha kuongea na nyinyi mm. wakati huu tuko na furaha. Tukisuti hii video. Ni video itambariki. Ni video itamuinua from one level to another. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know why I wanted you, mommy, to say hi to you? Um, when I was in America, I had no mother. And I met two mothers. And Mama Florence is one of them. She took a special place in my heart and I took a special place in her heart. She took care of me as a daughter. She took care of me. I was very sick. I share my testimony and I tell them that one day they will see you. And they will believe that we serve a mighty God. Amen. Because when I came to Mama Florence, after brought in my mama, by Mama Kate, whom sometimes you see on Facebook, I was like dying tomorrow. I had no balance. I was all black like I had a very bad disease called cancer. I had anemia. I would be rushed to the hospital all the time. I was in so much pain because of the enemy's tactics. 
but the love of Jesus caused this woman to take me in as a mother, stood with me, took care of me to, to the extent that you see me like the way I look right now. So I wanted her to say hi as I continue with the message today, but we give God the glory. Amen. Amen. I go? Yeah, you can. You're not, are you going or I leave you? Yeah, I, I'm still sharing. Let me finish. Let me finish. Right. So anyway, um, I wanted to share this video today. It is about eternal life. It's about eternal life. The Bible says that the Lord Jesus told us in the book of, um, oh, Father, we thank you. In the book of um, John, chapter 17, and verses 1. John, chapter 17, and verses 1. These were the words of the Master Jesus. He told us, he said, he prayed a prayer. That prayer is, has been, it's a unique prayer. He prayed and said, I pray that they may know you, the one true living God, and that they may know me, your dear son, and that they may glorify me. I want to emphasize that they may know me, actually say that they may know you, the one true living God, that they may also know me, your dear son, Jesus Christ, and he said, and that is eternal life. Repeat after me, and that is eternal life. Many at times we think that, oh, I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I pray to Jesus. But if you do not know God, what does it mean to know God? If I tell you that you know your husband, you know your girlfriend, that means that you know their hearts, you know them inside and out, you live with them, you eat with them, you sleep with them, you relate with them, you talk to them, you walk with them, you run with them, you sit in the car with them, you know them. That even if I woke up and I asked you a question, oh, do you know your, your husband? Like, of course. I know my husband. I live with my husband. Hallelujah, somebody. So Jesus spoke a word. That word touched me when I read it. I was like, I've been preaching eternal life. I've been sending eternal life messages and I've been telling people to repent. But what are they repenting out of? What are they turning out of? Ladies and gentlemen, little did I know that you have to take the initiative. You have to take a step and know God. How are you going to know God? Of course, I'm going to tell you that you have to love God. But how are you going to love a God that doesn't love you? I want to let you know that it is written that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Ladies and gentlemen, the story begins from love that God loves you so much. And when God loves you so much and receive his son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, he deposits a gift of love. Everybody receive Jesus and the Holy Spirit. You have a gift of love in you. But how are you going to ignite that love? How are you going to activate that love? How are you going to connect your heart to God on a daily basis? How are you going to get to know God? How are you going to get to know Jesus? Of course, through the help of the Holy Ghost and by reading the word of God. Because when you tell people, oh, repent and receive eternal life, they're like, I'm a believer. Hallelujah. One time I was walking on the streets of... Uh, I was not working actually. I was with my friend. We were coming from work. My friend was called Caroline. For her, she's from here. For her, she's a white. Yes. And, and my God, that girl was amazing that day. So what happened was, we met this man. Ladies and gentlemen, God is faithful. I told you, for God so loved the world. Hallelujah. For those who believe on him. So this is what happened. This man was... was um had fallen on the street, had taken too much alcohol. He, he was almost losing his teeth. He was, um, he was an addict. And, 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 but he was on the streets. <laughs> Thank God for America. Because if you're in Africa, you, you, they can just, just uh, crawl, uh, crawl you out of there and dump you like in a, 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 in a wherever they find. But ladies and gentlemen, with this friend of mine, as we passed by this man, we came back up. And this man, I was led by the whole, that my friend Carol was like, Rachel, we have to help. I'm like, yeah, we got to help. So I went and I knelt before this man and I told him, Jesus is going to help you. 
He was on the streets. I told him, Jesus is going to help you. He said, I believe. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you believe and you receive Jesus, you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You're not receiving a mere man. You are receiving love. You are receiving power. And when you receive that power, the moment you receive that power, run and get the Bible. Because why many people remain, I believe, I love Jesus, I sing for Jesus, but I can live in the world the way I want. I can do whatever I want. Those people have not known God. God knows them, but they have not known God. Ladies and gentlemen, for it is written that the God of all the earth knows every living soul on earth. Let it, every living soul and every dead soul. That means that if you have not yet repented and turned to God and begun to know God and he says that is eternal life. You miss something and that is the word of truth. The word of truth can tell you to repent. But sometimes if you don't read God, if you don't fellowship with God, if you don't have a conversation with God, if you do not relate with God, even the love will not grow. How come? I mean, what if I got a man? And he says, oh, Rachel, I love you very much and I want to marry you. And that man takes me to his house. And in that house, he doesn't talk to me. He doesn't smile at me. He doesn't, he doesn't take care of me. He doesn't buy me nice things. I'm like, he doesn't. I mean, I'm like, do you really love me? Ladies and gentlemen, eternal life begins from love. Eternal life begins from the love of God and the love he gives to us and the love we give back to God. For it is written in the book of John chapter 14 and verses 21. He says, verses 21, I love that scripture. He says, those that love me are the ones that do my commandments. Father will love them and I will love them. We will bring our home and live with them. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, for God so loved everybody, whosoever believeth. But God, Jesus is telling us we have to know God. And know Jesus, read him and get to know him. How? Relate with him. Read the word of God. Worship him. Talk about his love. Bring souls to Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time today. Remember we got no time. The clock is ticking. Jesus is coming back soon. He wants us to take this seriously. Bring people to Jesus. Know Jesus. Talk about Jesus. Read Jesus not for you, but for your family members. For your friends. For the lost. So that they can come and receive eternal life and they get to know him. Therefore, repent. If you do not know Jesus, turn away from the evil man. That man is bad. Satan is evil. He's blinding very many people, causing them to be, do bad things, become prostitutes, murderers, fornicators, idolaters, slanderers, sinners. That means they will, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. So today, as you're watching this video, I would love for you to think about this love, that love that wants to save your soul from darkness, that love that wants to save your soul from death, that love wants to give you eternal life. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus is eternal life. God is eternal life. The Holy Spirit is eternal life, but you have to know his word and receive him. So today, repeat after me. Say, dear Jesus, I have heard your word. I want to know you. Come into my heart. Change me. Transform me. Give me your Holy Spirit to lead me, guide me, and show me your truth. Give me your eternal life, and I receive the love. I receive you in Jesus' name. I'm your child. I'm a born again. I have eternal life. God bless you. This is Eternal Life Messages with Evangelist Rachel Gaylor.